Yeah, my name is Vincenzo Stone. I'm from Denver and I'm part of the St. John Institute. The Gospel of Life Conference is pretty awesome so far. So what I'm learning is that the human person has a dignity that we have to respect and love. And if we don't respect and love that, it kind of taints what we see in the world today, in our society. Yeah, Dr. Sri talked a lot about relativism, which I don't know as a young adult if I ever understood, which is pretty cool to hear. Um, I think it helps us approach our friends and family that maybe aren't so deep in their faith because relativism is big in our society right now and we can feel it. I mean, I felt it, I've thought it. It's, it's kind of nice to say, you know, well, for me it works, but for you it doesn't have to work. But if there is an overarching truth, it is our job as Catholics to bring that truth to the world, right? So if we're not bringing that truth, then we're not really living our Catholic faith out as we should. I, I have had difficult conversations about moral issues with friends, family, and they usually don't turn out very well. Usually I try and change the subject to sports or <laughs> beer or something awesome, you know, but uh, it's, it's difficult issues to talk about and I think that it is our job to speak what we know is true. Um, and as Dr. Sri kind of gave an example to, it's just our initial step to do that. It's our initial step to speak the truth. What happens after that is up to God because we're not going to convince them in one hour or one conversation of what is morally right and what we should do. So my faith journey is probably pretty typical for a person of my age. I'm 24 years old and I grew up Catholic, going to Catholic school, going to Catholic church. I went to Catholic school one year of high school and after I went to college I kind of lost my faith so I stopped going to church and I would just come back during the breaks to go with my parents just to make them happy. And it wasn't necessarily that I didn't agree with the church, it was just hard to live that way with what the rest of life was telling me was okay. So eventually I got a good job, um, making good money, and I would come home every day and just say, you know, what is this, what is this worth? So I kind of started to find God through that. I'd go to church frequently. I actually taught uh, religious education at Nativity of Our Lord in Broomfield for one year. And I learned more from my co-instructor than I did in Catholic school growing up. So it was kind of inspirational to me and I eventually just found the St. John Institute and I said, I'm gonna drop everything and pursue the stream of growing deeper in my faith and understanding it and proclaiming my faith to the world.